In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is the topic of skincare, and in particular, the anti-aging for skincare. I'm going to be discussing five ways to keep your skin looking healthy and younger, so if that's something you want to learn about, stay tuned. Hi and welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Dr. Lindsay Marie. I'm a Christian comedian missionary doctor sharing a message of hope, health, and wellness for the mind, body, and soul. A lot of times I get told I look younger than my age. Just a few years ago while working in clinic, I had a lot of patients come up to me and ask me, how old are you? You don't look old enough to be a doctor. When I told them my real age, they were shocked and for some reason, a lot of them told me I look like I'm 18 years old. Excuse me, do you think I could be standing in front of you as a doctor at 18 years old? I may look young, but I am no Doogie Hauser. No, I went through my years and years of schooling and training to become a doctor, but I will still take that as a compliment because that just means I took very good care of my health and my skin. Which is what I'm going to be telling you guys all about today, so let's get into this topic. So the first way to keep your skin looking healthy and younger is to avoid UV light and wear sunscreen daily. Sunlight not only contains radiation, but it also contains UVA and UVB rays. These rays can lead to something called free radicals, which can then lead to skin cell damage and premature aging. Not to mention sunspots or hyperpigmentation issues as well. Too much exposure to UV rays, including sunbathing or tanning beds, can lead to that leathery appearance of the skin. My dad always used to warn me when I was younger and getting too much sun during the summers. He said, today's bathing beauties are tomorrow's wrinkled old prunes. Thanks, Dad. So to combat all of these unwanted effects from UV rays, you want to be protecting yourself when you're out in the sun as much as possible. That can include wearing the proper clothing. For instance, you could wear long sleeves instead of short sleeves if you don't want to have too much sun on your arms. Whenever you are outside, or even if you are driving in your car and it's a cloudy day, you are still being exposed to UV rays. So you want to be getting into the habit of wearing daily sunscreen, if not on the rest of your body, at least on your face so that you can protect that area. And if you're going to be out in the sun for longer periods of time, like a hike or something, make sure you're wearing a hat or a wide brim hat to protect all areas of your face and neck. The sunscreen that you choose should be at least SPF 15 or higher, but SPF 30 or higher is actually more protective. And you want to make sure that it blocks both UVA and UVB rays. If you can get into the habit of wearing sunscreen daily, even when you're younger, you're gonna have far more healthy skin and you're gonna be thankful for it in the future. The second way to keep your skin looking healthy and younger is having a healthy diet and lifestyle. So what does that mean? It means that you've heard it your entire life. You wanna be getting your proper sleep, your proper nutrients. You wanna decrease any stress in your life no smoking, and you want to be eating a healthy diet comprised of lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. Why are all these doctors harping on us all the time to eat fruits and vegetables? Why? Because they're healthy. But it's important not only to remember to eat healthy foods, but also to avoid toxic or foods that are not so good for you. And these can include increased carbohydrates and increased refined sugars. An excess amount of refined sugars are known to decrease the amount of collagen within our skin, which helps keep our skin looking healthy and younger. Also, a lot of fruits and vegetables contain something called antioxidants, and these are properties within foods that help fight off free radicals, which were those things that damage skin cells and any other cells in your body for that matter. I have two videos out that are gonna tell you all about healthy eating, one is in my detox your body video. In that video, we went over all of the foods to avoid in your diet. And my second video for healthy eating is the one I did on the anti-inflammatory diet. So I will have both of those listed in the description box below. So be sure to check those out so that you know exactly what types of foods to avoid and what types of foods to eat to have younger, healthier looking skin. I like to remember it this way, the more antioxidants I'm putting into my body, the more anti-aging properties I'm benefiting from later. Moving on, the third way to keep your skin looking healthy and younger is to make sure you're getting enough of these certain supplements. And the first one is collagen. 
Collagen is a family of proteins that is the primary structural component of the connective tissues within your body, including your skin, your bones, your tendons, muscles, and ligaments. It makes up about one third of all of the protein in your body and it's considered to be the glue that holds everything together. As we age, our bodies naturally make less collagen and a lower quality of collagen. And that shows up on the skin by losing some of that firmness. The skin is a little bit more dull and you can have a few more wrinkles and loss of volume in the skin as well. So there is a huge trend out now that's been around for years, but that is the concept of taking a collagen supplement. Now you can get a lot of collagen in your food and if you do, that's great, but some people like to take a little extra in the form of a supplement. The thing with collagen supplements is manufacturers can make the synthetic form of it and sometimes it's not always absorbed very well within the body. So you wanna be doing your research to find out exactly what collagen supplements are best for you to take and make sure that it's not a scam and they're just taking your money. The next supplement that's really beneficial for the skin is vitamin C. And the reason is, is because vitamin C is an important factor in the formation of collagen. So they work hand in hand. The next supplement is vitamin A. And this is an essential nutrient that helps maintain and supports skin health, eye health, and reproductive health. The vitamin comes in two forms, and that is retinoids and carotenoids. Both of these can then be converted in the liver to something called retinol, which is also very healthy for the skin. Carotenoids is the form of vitamin A that you get in your diet, which is the antioxidant form. And retinoids or retinol is what you can use as a topical form on your skin to help stimulate skin cell growth and add moisture. Topical forms of retinols can also be used to treat acne. And to get more of those carotenoids within your diet, you wanna be eating foods like salmon, dairy, eggs, carrots, tomatoes, or sweet potatoes. And the last supplement I'm gonna talk about today is called biotin. Biotin is a vitamin found in foods like eggs, milk, whole grain foods, some nuts, and bananas. You may or may not have heard of biotin before, but its main use is to promote the health of your hair, skin, and nails. Most people get the proper amount of biotin within their diets, but if you don't or you would like to improve your hair, skin, and nails, they make tons of supplements of biotin that you can get at any store, and they even come in the gummy form, which I like. So those were all of the supplements that help promote healthy, younger-looking skin, and now we're gonna go over something that's my favorite thing to talk about, and that is the number four way to keep your skin looking healthy and younger, and that is with products. So I'm gonna be discussing a lot of products today and also showing you some of the ones that I use. The brand of the product is not what's important. What's important is the actual product benefits and what they can do for you. So the first product that you should use on a daily basis if you want healthy, younger looking skin goes along with sunscreen and that is a daily moisturizer. There is tons of different moisturizers out there, but I will show you the one that I use. This one is by Rock, and it is a multi-correction five-in-one daily moisturizer. It also comes with sunscreen and contains a broad spectrum SPF 30. On the bottle, it says it improves the look of discoloration, sagging, dryness, dull tone, and wrinkles. I've used this one for a few years now and I really like it for myself because it's light and it doesn't have that greasy, heavy feeling after you put it on. And also it smells nice, which I like. If you have one that you like, you wanna be putting it on your face and don't forget your neck. Just gonna use this little box here which says Beauty Instruments, which was another skincare product I bought, but I'm not gonna go over that one today. Anyway, I'm gonna just set these moisturizers and products here so you can see them all as we go along. This one is the night version of this daily moisturizer. This one's called Deep Wrinkle Serum, and I like it because it's also very light and doesn't give you that caked on, suffocating feeling. So that is the night moisturizer. These two products you can get at any store like Target or Walmart. They might be a little bit expensive, I believe anywhere from $25 to $35 per bottle. Whenever I run out of this nighttime moisturizer, if I don't have a chance to have another one, I always have this one on backup. This one I actually ordered from China. It's called Life Cell South Beach Skincare, and it is another all-in-one anti-aging treatment. It says fast-acting anti-wrinkle, intensive firming, 
24 hour hydration, under the eye treatment, antioxidant, and dehyperpigmentation, which I have a little bit of hyperpigment issues that I use and I think that it works pretty well. This one is also very light and doesn't give you that caked on greasy feeling. So that is this one. And I'll just leave that right here. If you're not too big on the fancy ingredients or the science behind a lot of these moisturizers, you can just get any moisturizer over the counter. There are other cheaper versions of moisturizers out there. For instance, this one is Pond's. It's very good and very moisturizing, but this one for myself, I don't like as much because it tends to be more greasy feeling. Then of course, there are the dermatologist recommended moisturizers, and I'm just gonna flash a few of those on the screen now. Overall, the main point of these moisturizers is to improve moisture retention. They prevent water loss and act as an emollient, which leads to the appearance of your skin looking much smoother and softer. So with there being tons of moisturizers out there, my recommendation is that you choose one that's best for you. Some people even like to choose all vegan or organic products so that they're not getting any of those toxic parabens. And we also talked about that in my detox your body video. So make sure you check that out if you want to learn about that. The next product I wanted to go over is something we already talked about and that is collagen. So I have this one here. This is a capsule form of the supplement. They also make collagen supplements in the form of powder that you can add to your drink. This one is called Dermal Repair Complex and it has 60 capsules in one bottle. And this one, they recommend taking two capsules a day. Sometimes I just take one capsule at night and call it good, but I have noticed a huge improvement in my skin tone, as well as just kind of more uh, fullness of my skin. Like I said, for collagen, the most important thing is to do your research and make sure you find a collagen supplement, whether that's in capsule form or powder form that is well absorbed and making sure that it's not a scam. So the next product I wanted to talk about today is serums. Serums can be similar to moisturizers as they can have some of the same benefits, but they can typically have a few more ingredients such as some of those vitamins we talked about like vitamin A or retinol. This is one of the serums that I have and it is a retinol vitamin enriched serum and it's just called anti-wrinkle facial serum and it has intensive firming properties. And this one includes 5,000 IUs of vitamin A. So that's just a fancy vitamin serum for you. The next serum that I wanted to talk about today has an ingredient in it that I can barely pronounce, but it's called hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a sugar molecule that occurs naturally in the skin that binds to water, giving it a plump glowing look. It helps reduce the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles, and it retains moisture to the skin, creating a plumping effect. Basically, when your skin is well hydrated and retaining a lot of its moisture, it can then produce more healthy skin cells. So I do have a serum of just straight hyaluronic acid here. It came in this box, which I'm just gonna put here for now. But this is the bottle of it and what it looks like. And it is more of a clear serum. This one you can put on at nighttime. I like to just put a small drop on my forehead and rub it in right before I apply my nighttime moisture. And with this one, you can really tell that it gives you more of that firm glowing look to your skin. Okay, just a few more products that I wanted to go over today. One I don't have shown here, but it's those silicone pads that you can apply on your face, your forehead, your neck, and your chest. These ones are great for adding moisture to the skin, but also they help prevent some of the fine lines that you can get. The most beneficial one I think is the one for your neck. You can wear it at nighttime when you're sleeping so that when your head is propped up from the pillow, you don't get those lines there. And the last product I wanted to talk about today is is another favorite of mine and that is my rose quartz roller I'm sure you guys have seen these before it's the stone that we're talking about that gives the anti-aging properties this one is a rose quartz roller but they also make jade rollers and this is another beauty product that I think originates from China, but the purpose of it for the skin is just to apply a gentle massage. And what that does is it helps stimulate your lymphatic system and lead to some detoxing of the skin. 
So it's supposed to improve your skin's elasticity, reduce puffiness and fine lines, ease facial muscle tensions, and it helps with products absorption, including your moisturizers or serums. The one I got right here was super cheap. I think it was no more than $15 at Walmart, but they do make some that are upwards toward $100 or more, but I think it has to do with the authenticity and the realness of the stone that you're getting. If you're into all of that, as far as the actual stone healing your skin, I'm not sure about all that, but I do know the actual rolling effect works. So for myself, I wasn't too worried about how real my stone was. I love this product because you really can see pretty instant results with it. After just a quick 10 minute session, you can see that your skin is a lot brighter, fuller and smoother appearing. They have two sizes of stones. So the small one you can use more around your eyes and the large one you can use for your cheeks and your forehead. And I actually get a double benefit from this little tool right here because I suffer a lot from migraines. I mostly get them on my right forehead. So at night when I'm suffering from a migraine, I just take this little tool and when it's nice and cool, I just roll it across my forehead and it also really helps soothe my migraines. So that's an added benefit of this little tool right here that is worth mentioning. All right, you guys, so that is the products that I wanted to go over today. Like I said, you don't have to get these specific brands or everything that I discussed. This is just what I use and works for me. What's important is to get something that works for you and that you can afford as well. And we don't have to get hung up on using every single product to reduce all of our fine lines and wrinkles. But the main point I wanted to make today with products is that the most important one is the daily moisturizer. Just like your sunscreen, if you can use that daily, you're gonna have younger, healthier looking skin for a longer period of time. And now finally for the last way and fifth way to keep your skin looking healthier and younger, and that is with procedures. Basically with procedures, there were just a few types that I wanted to discuss today, and those include facials, these can range from your most basic facials that you can do yourself at home to the ones that you can get done at a med spa, let's say. Other procedures that go along with facials include chemical peels and microneedling procedures. The point of facials is to help exfoliate and remove dead skin cells and help rejuvenate new skin cells. If you're choosing facials like chemical peels or microneedling, those are a little bit more in depth and can help resurface the skin to an extent and help stimulate that collagen production as well. Another procedure is the beloved Botox. Botox is an injection that you can get mostly in your forehead or around your eyes, and it is injected through a very fine, small needle. And what it does is it temporarily paralyzes the muscles in your face to reduce some of that excessive movement of your skin to help prevent wrinkles. The number one areas Botox typically targets is this area here to help prevent your crow's feet, these muscles here to prevent those lines called the 11s, and also to prevent your horizontal forehead wrinkles. Another procedure that you can get is something called fillers. It's typically done at a plastic surgery office, dermatology office, or med spa. You want to be sure that the person who is doing your fillers is well trained and has a lot of experience because you don't want to have a bad experience when you're getting a filler. The main uses for fillers is also to help reduce fine lines. Some people use them to reduce their smile lines. They can help fill in acne scars or help fill in areas where you may have seen loss of volume under your skin. And the last procedure I wanted to talk about today includes laser procedures. There are certain types of lights that they use within each laser that they can use across the skin. These also can help reduce signs of acne scars as well as fine lines and wrinkles. I just wanted to mention that these procedures can be great for boosting the appearance of your skin, but they also come with their certain risks and they can be quite expensive and not everybody has the means to go out and get these procedures either once a year or once a month or however often. So to tie together everything in this video today, the main point that I wanted to get across are the simple, basic ways that you can use to make your skin look healthier and younger. In my opinion, the most important way to keep your skin looking healthier and younger is to be applying those healthy lifestyle habits in the first place, such as eating that healthy diet that we talked about, including a lot of fruits and vegetables and getting your proper sleep. If you can try to maintain a healthy overall lifestyle on a daily basis, your skin is going to be 
looking healthier and younger as well. And that is a wrap for today's video. Let me know in the comments section what are some of your favorite skincare tips or products. And if you would like more videos like these, be sure to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Until next time, bye! Anytime you're out, you're going to be exposed to UV rays, so you want to be wearing a wide brim hat. Most times people only wear that on the beach, but you never know, you could wear it. You could